this video, we will go through how to conduct a systematic review using the PRISMA 2020 statement. This short video will take you through the updated guidelines for reporting systematic reviews to ensure that your reviews are transparent, complete, and impactful. PRISMA stands for the Preferred Reporting Items for Systematic Reviews and Meta-Analyses. It's important to keep in mind that the PRISMA guidelines do not provide the methodology for conducting systematic reviews, but instead provide a widely accepted framework to effectively report the systematic reviews. All of the information we are going to discuss today, including the full guideline checklist and the flow diagram feature, can be found at prisma.org and are discussed in the following paper. So why do we need PRISMA? Systematic reviews are crucial in research as they synthesize findings from multiple studies and provide a high level of evidence. However, to truly be valuable, these reviews must be transparently reported. And that's where the PRISMA 2020 updated from the 2009 version comes in, offering a detailed checklist and guidance for the authors of these reviews. The main PRISMA 2020 checklist consists of 27 items, with each item falling under the six sections of title, abstract, introduction, results, discussion, and other information. Examples of some of the items that can fall under these sections include identifying the report as a systematic review, checking further checklists such as the abstract checklist, describing the rationale behind the study and explicitly indicating the study's objectives, specifying inclusion and exclusion criteria and showing source selection with the flow diagram, detailing individual studies and the synthesis of these studies to evaluate the certainty of the evidence gathered, interpreting the synthesis of these results and their implication for practice, policy, or future research, and further information on the registration, protocol, funding, and conflicts of interest. However, as we can see from some of the points above, the PRISMA guidelines do not only address the general body of text for the review paper, but also for all of the supplementary components. These are addressed in supplemental checklists. Of these additional resources, the most exciting is the PRISMA website's interactive tool for creating flow diagrams that are highlighted in the methods section reporting criteria. Here, you can easily enter the information regarding your study selection process and quickly export the figure into your paper. Ultimately, PRISMA 2020 emphasizes the importance of a comprehensive report, including a detailed account of the search results, study selection process, and the synthesis of its findings. The flow diagram provides a visual representation of your review process, enhancing both transparency and reproducibility. Adhering to the PRISMA 2020 guidelines ensures that your systematic review will be robust, transparent, and useful for your target audience. For more information and resources on PRISMA 2020, visit the prisma.org website.